Are you a C-sharp developer interested in getting started with functional programming, but you're not sure where to begin? If so, this video is for you. The next concept we'll look at is the idea of using expressions versus statements. A statement is a line of code that doesn't evaluate to anything, like when you assign a value to a variable, like in this case here. This doesn't evaluate to anything. An expression, on the other hand, is a line of code that does evaluate to a value. In functional programming, we're encouraged not to store temporary state in variables. We're encouraged to just keep chaining uh, functions together. So here, we have about eight lines of code. If we use an expression here, we can change this into one line of code. It'll still be readable. So let's try that. So what is this doing? We're saying we have a variable display name. And based on the user's uh, active status, we're either going to print just their first name and last name, or we're going to print their first name, their last name, and also show a little uh, message that they're inactive. So let's change this into one line. And the way we will do this is remember in functional programming we are encouraged not to store state anywhere so don't try not to use the variables so my function here is uh, this function is going to return a string so we're going to do it in one line on the on the condition of whether it, the user is active or not how can we display this or not display this the ternary operator in functional programming is used quite a bit and the reason for that is because the ternary operator is an expression not a statement so using string interpolation here which is what this uh, little dollar sign up lets us do and we can put expressions into our string so our user is active and if he's active, we don't want to return anything. It's just uh, nothing. But if they are inactive, we want to tell uh, whoever's looking at this that the user is inactive. And there we go, that's it. Let's try that, see if it runs. We should see the same thing twice. So we went from eight lines of code about to one line of code. If you find this is, you're not used to this syntax, I find if you if you start using it more, you get used to it. Um, some people like to maybe do something like this, where you can put the ternary operator on different lines. Um, of course, this is not going to work because of the the way the strings are right now but if you're using it elsewhere in code you can do that so you see we printed all our users the inactive users had that little message attached to them and we did it here in one line and we got the exact same thing so using expressions instead of statements can not only clean up your code now you don't have variables which um, I'm sure you've run into. Sometimes a variable can be changed and you don't realize it was changed. That can cause bugs if you just uh, do your best not to use variables or use the least amount as possible. You can reduce your bugs by quite a bit and clean up your code. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you did. Uh, if you have comments, good comments, nice comments, or constructive comments, I would love to hear back from you. Thank you so much.